I'm the Director of Human Resources for Lombard Canada. My role, I'm responsible for all areas of human resources. So that would include benefits, compensation, payroll. And part of the challenge and the fun of this role is that there really isn't a typical day or there isn't typical responsibilities. Everything is always uh, new and something always unexpected. My name's Karen Spencer and my job title is HR Specialist focusing on health and safety at EDS Canada Inc. Well, the typical activities I'm involved in is um, the development, coordination, and implementation of our health and safety program, as well as the health and wellness program. I selected the business program because before I came to Durham College, I was really interested in training and development. And when I did some research, I found that Human Resources had a good component with training and development and I thought it would be a good match. I think the skills and abilities required to be successful in Human Resources are similar um, to the, the skills required to be successful in any career. I think the one big key thing in Human Resources is being able to look at something and not looking at a situation in black and white, recognizing that there's a lot of gray and there's a lot of room for interpretation in a lot of different areas and being able to look at one thing from many different perspectives. I think the career choices in, in terms of HR are unlimited. I mean, Typically the reality is you have to start off in an entry level position because you have to work your way up. The, the beauty of HR is that if you're more of a numbers analytical person, there's an area of HR such as compensation and benefits that are really well suited to those skills. And if, you're, if your skill set is different and maybe you, you know, need to be around people a lot and need to kind of have that social interaction, training and development and recruitment, there's other areas that you can specialize in that really kind of take advantage of that skill set. So I think you can have a lot of variety in terms of what you want to do. I actually found out um, by accident, <laughs> a friend of mine from church actually said, you know, I work at EDS, when you graduate, you know, send me your resume. And I completely forgot that I had given him my resume. And I received a phone call one morning from a recruiter from EDS and they said, are you still interested in working at EDS? And naturally I said, sure I am. All the while my mind's ticking away going, how did he get my resume? So it took me a little bit of time to remember that I had actually passed it along to a friend and who opened that door for me. I did my field placement in a corporate office and I had never worked in an office environment prior to that. So it was really good for me in terms of leaving the educational environment and going to the real world. It really set a good foundation in terms of uh, what the working world is like in terms of you know politics and, and social things. It was just a very interesting experience and I think had the field placement not been structured the way it was, I wouldn't have gained the knowledge that I did. So you really have time to get to know the people you're working with, you really have time to integrate with the company, and you really have time to add value in, in the position that you're doing. I would absolutely recommend Durham College to future students. Durham College has an excellent reputation, and I hear good things from people when they hear that, oh, you graduated from Durham College. Durham College, I think, has a top-rate, top-notch education system and education program going for it, and I would absolutely recommend it to anyone.